let's go and see if I can catch a lovely barbel. Oh, oh man, this is really living. <laughs> Committed to the art and nothing Stop us, not even a train, plain track to all of us As we feel the rhythm inside the marrow of our bones And we are fascinated by the music sounds and headphones Box Beats brings me a relevant speech Like two girls were matching Going to a fashion pageant Asking for some passionate actions With any old masculine mad friend Wait a minute, let me change my tangent Flows tactical, inapplicable For PCs Such a beautiful night tonight It's just gorgeous so it is It's a real humid night The sky's overcast The river is up a good couple of metres It's very coloured I've had fish moving about quite close in, right underneath my feet here. Now, down here is usually where I'd be setting up, because the river's up two metres. So basically, the river's up where I usually am fishing. So all the small fish have been dragged up close in, and I've seen them all topping on the surface. Now, it'd be a good night to target the perch, but I'm after the barbel tonight. So there we have it. One rod set up here, it's a heavy rod for the barbel. And that's straight out into that faster water, just where the slow meets the fast. Then I've got another rod quite far away. Now the reason I'm doing that is because if I do hook a barbel on this left rod, I need more room. So to play the, the barbel, especially with this extra flow, because the barbel usually use that extra water uh, as a tool to try and get away. So uh, this way, fishing two rods uh, further apart, it'll help. So this one here is, I've cast this, this lower rod with a white, you can just see the white tip there. I've cast that further downstream. It is a lighter rod and with it, I've cast closer in. Now, I usually say this is a light rod I'm going to catch chub on, but usually that's the one that catches the biggest barbel. So I'm just going to, I'm, I'm not going to say anything tonight. Uh, I'm just hoping for anything really. Um, it would be a good night to target the roach or any of the smaller species um, or the bream because you can nearly always catch bream in close whenever the river's up and any of the smaller species they're all in close here so just literally under the, all these reeds here and in the in the grasses and I've seen them I've seen them here tonight so beautiful it's just a wonderful night tonight haven't had any bites yet but I've only just cast in and I haven't tidied away my swim got my usual stuff with me I've got my little mat that I sit on my rod hold all there's my bag uh, it's quite a little bit messy today because I've just come back from Scotland uh, did a film and did a fishing trip up to Scotland and filmed that so I'll put a link at the end of this video if you want to watch how I did in Scotland it was went out in a boat uh, we were fishing for anything really we were caught I caught, I caught an octopus <laughs> would you believe it's my first fish I caught was an octopus and then I then I had um, a load of mackerel, I had a haddock, my friends were catching cod from the start, they were, they were catching more mackerel um, and then we came in shore and we, we tried for the bass and my friend Tony had a six pound sea bass from the shore and he's only just took up angling as well so he was absolutely chuffed. So if you want to watch that just go, just click the link at the end of this video. Someone's lighting a big fire over on the upper bank there. All the flies have come out. Oh, I'm having problems with that again. That's debris coming down. That's going to be a bit of an issue, I think, tonight. Sort it out. There's a weir pool further upstream from where I am now. And usually when everyone else is suffering with the weed, I've always done really well at the weir pool. So I think most of the weed that that gets swept downstream, gets sucked into the sides of the weir pool and, and there's a, like a, a clear run further downstream of it. So what I'll do is, if I don't get anything in 15 minutes here, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just up sticks and move up there and see how that does. Okay, so I've just moved a good bit upstream to where the weir pool is and there's not a soul in sight. There's no anglers about. It's just very quiet. Heard a couple of gunshots though, so someone's hunting in the woods. 
So, it's just me and the hunters out tonight. I'm fishing the barbel rod. It's a 2.75 test curve rod. Fishing with a four ounce feeder. So that should do good for the barbel. Half past 11. I'll probably fish about another hour and a half. And then call it a night. But I should be into the barbel. Happy days. I'm just going to sit back and relax now and just wait and see what happens. I stuck that right hand rod out in really close. And I definitely had a fish take it there, but it's dropped it. Just keep watching it. Fish on, lads, fish on. <laughs> river, river, beautiful job. Look at that. All we see is the day. The trouble all we see of the day. That's gorgeous. Barbell. Seventeen minutes past one. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a cracker fish. Well, I've been very lucky because I just landed that barbel and then I was very lucky to get a bream as well. Can you believe that? So I was just dealing with a barbel and the other rod went off at the same time. So I managed to I managed to put one rod in the rod rest while playing the barbel. And then uh, I quickly, once I landed the barbel, quickly switched over to the bream to the other rod and I just pulled that bream in. So I'm very happy about that. Very, very nice. I was just about to pack up as well. So it's a chub, a bream, and a nice barbel I've had. So here we have the River Ibble barbel. And she's a beauty. And you know, she fought so hard, so hard. I actually thought it was bigger, but with this extra flow, it was just using that to its advantage and it was just ripping through the current. And such a fight. What a beautiful fish. Isn't it just gorgeous? It certainly is. Well, there's no need to weigh this one. It's not one of my biggest and it's not quite a double. So, I'm just going to get this straight back in there. And there you have a lovely River Ribble Breen. It's another gorgeous colour. Do you know something? I really am the bream king of this river. I can't come fishing on this river without catching a bream. And that's beautiful. No, there's not even any slime on this one. It's, it's just in lovely condition. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, so it is. Beautiful. Nice big back on it. Look at the shrimp on it. See a wee shrimp? Look at that, wee shrimp on it. 
Then you have the river there. I haven't seen a hedgehog in y'all. Hello boys. Hello fella. Hello fella. Hello. Would you like something to eat? Yeah. Want me to find you something to eat? <laughs> Very rare. Don't usually see hedgehogs these this day and age. There's a big hedgehog as well. Do a cracker. Alright, I'm gonna go see if I can get something to eat for you. There's a way. We'll speed him. <laughs> we'll speed him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Show you all the way. 